You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love. Shout out. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm just going to show you guys how I make my um thumbnails. This was requested by the person on screen. So now you're just going to wait for Gotcha Club or Gotcha Life, whatever app you're using, to load in. And then you're going to grab your character right here, change the background to a grey. Make sure none of the outlines are grey, otherwise I could mess with the process. Just take now you're gonna take a screenshot of the character. Now I've already taken a screenshot of a background, so I don't need to do that. And the background's gonna be for a reaction because the person requested on a reaction video. So yeah. We're just gonna okay, oops. <laughs> Sorry. Alright. So this is the type of background that you're gonna want to take a screenshot of. Give me a sec. Okay, it's loaded in. Um, okay, there it is. Also, I don't mind the um, background noise. So yeah, this is like the type of background. Now we're gonna just go on to, um, uh, oh wait, I forgot, <laughs> oops. So you're also gonna want to um, take a screenshot of the thumbnail for the video that they're reacting to. So that people know what video. Oh, okay. So now we're gonna go on IBS Paint or whatever app you'll use for editing. I prefer IBS Paint, of course. I just had to check the brightness there. So now you're gonna. Oops, gotta delete this. This isn't. This is unrelevant. Uh, it was just like for an. It's a bit just an unused thumbnail. Um. Now we're gonna find the background. there all right one one give me a sec okay there we go now we're going to add the character onto the background and then we're just going to get rid of the background on the character and yeah i'm just gonna quickly Speed this up. So now you're just gonna remove the background. I, I prefer to make it like transparent. And now we can move on to the editing. Just add uh, add a um, layer. And now you're gonna grab the fade. You might have to watch an ad for it. I don't have premium, I just watched an ad. Um, now you're just gonna do this and then you're gonna smudge it later on you don't have to i just prefer to i'm gonna speed this up as well because nobody wants to watch this so now you're just gonna add a new layer oops let me just change the color real quick uh, wait wait i don't oh, i don't <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, I just figured out that I couldn't add that, so don't mind the fact that like when I was recording this video, even though I was muted, I was doing random stuff as well. Just to like test some things out as well. I don't know. It's always good to learn. Anyway, so now you're going to grab the colour of the hay, make it so that it's like fade out, and then you're going to start doing this. I'm also going to speed this up real quick. Wait, maybe I shouldn't speed it up because not many people know how to do this. So yeah, we're just going to leave this like it is and yeah. Okay, this ad is kind of boring, huh? Okay, maybe I'm just the one who's bored when the silence happens. Um, so you're just going to do this, I guess, until you like have the stuff. I I didn't think this looked good, so I just kept testing. Um, some of these are going to like be removed since I didn't think they looked good. So yeah. Not many people know how to do this. I don't know, it took me like forever to learn. 
I remember like trying to do it because I saw in a thumbnail but then never learning so I just gave up then one day I was like wait what if I try this and then I tried it and it worked so yeah I know not many people can be listening to this so yeah I'm just going to start work so now I should I think mm, you can like edit it a little more with the hair but I'm just gonna move on to the front now and then you're just gonna do the same thing with the front just not with men as many things yep all right that should be it oops oops yeah that happens quite a few times in this video so now you're going to just move that down I mean you could do it on the same layer just like take the add layer down as well and just yeah so move the character and make it a little high like close to the screen so it looks kind of good hmm I forgot to add that part and that looks so weird one sec it boop <laughs> and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna input a, the um, picture after hours and then we're gonna make it so that it's just below the character and we're going to use this ruler by here to get rid of those little black lines which kind of look weird because the thumbnail doesn't actually have those I'm pretty sure just make sure you don't delete, accidentally like delete the um, words. So now you can just, what am I doing? I don't know. Oh yeah, I remember this part of the video I show you how to do, draw tears if you need to know. Oh. So this is how I draw tears. Yeah, and not many people do it like this. Uh, it took me so long to decide how I was going to draw tears. So yeah, that's how you draw tears, but tears aren't needed for this. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go back. Then all you got to do is save the image. Actually, now that I think about it, there is some... Yeah, there was something I didn't show you, so I'm going to show you that in this part. And this is how you do the um, little thing. Wait, it seems really weird. Well, it's like, yeah, yeah, just let the video show it. Yeah, this is how you do that. You just take a black blob and like change the um, layer format thing. I might need to zoom out for that part. I don't know. So yeah, you do that and you're basically done at this point. I mean, you can add letters if you want, saying that this fandom, this person, or whatever. <laughs>